Hi lovelies, welcome back to Christina Maria Yoga. I'm Christina and today we are doing an inner peace flow that helps you relax and renew. This is a great flow to do before you go to bed just to help you calm down from the day and find your center. I really hope you guys like this flow. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up for me. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the big red button down below. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. We're going to begin today's flow in a seated upright posture. Legs can be crossed if that's comfortable and hands gently resting on the knees with the palms facing up. Allow the spine to be nice and long and chin to tuck in slightly. Eyes can be soft here, relaxing the muscles of the face. And maybe we find a hand mudra with pointer finger and thumb touching beginning to bring the awareness to the breath in the body here. Taking a big inhale through the nostrils, feeling it travel down through the body as the belly expands and chest rises. And then exhale as the belly deflates. Nice slow exhale through the nostrils. Inhale, big breath in. And exhale out. Continuing with this wave of breath, as we find our center and inner peace here. As thoughts from the day begin to drift into the mind, just allowing them to float by, not paying them too much attention here. Try to see if you can stay within yourself, keeping the awareness on the breath as it travels through the body. And then gently taking opposite hand to the back of the opposite shoulder. So it's like you're giving yourself a big hug here. Inhale, squeeze yourself nice and tight. Exhale, release. Inhale, hug in nice and tight, big squeeze. Exhale, soften. A few more of these, letting everything go with each exhale. Relaxing into the seated posture. And then slowly releasing the hands back onto the knees, finding that tall posture once again. And we'll begin with some seated Sufi circles. So taking the body down around towards the front of the floor and then all the way coming back around. I invite you to close the eyes here. Just flow with what the body feels. Maybe incorporating the neck or lifting one knee up then the other to help you rock in the circular motion. Continuing to sink the breath with the movement here. And beginning to circle the opposite direction. Any pace that's comfortable for you. Might be in very slow, controlled movement. Maybe a little faster. And then slowly coming back into a seated upright posture, straight spine. We'll take the right hand straight out and bring it across the body, using the left hand to gently pull it over towards the left. Right fingers nice and energized, spreading wide. And then release it down. We'll do the same thing with the left arm, bringing it across the body, using the right arm to guide it over to the right. Left finger spread nice and wide here, strong energy flowing out of the hands. Slowly releasing the hands down. We'll plant the left hand in the mat as right arm reaches up and over for a side body seated stretch. Energy in the fingers. Exhale, release the right hand onto the mat. We'll take left arm up and over. Tendons in this left hand spreading nice and wide. Long fingers, long side body. We'll do one more each side. Exhale, take the left hand down onto the mat as right arm sweeps up and over. Exhale, releasing right hand as left arm comes up. Then coming back to a neutral spine, fingertips just resting on the floor. And we'll drop the right ear to the right shoulder, 
you'd like to have a deeper stretch in the neck here, feel free to walk those left fingertips behind the body a little bit. Play around where to feel where this stretch feels good for you. Inhale, slowly coming back up through center. Exhale, we'll drop left ear to left shoulder. Maybe walking the right fingertips back slightly to feel a deeper stretch here. Inhale, coming back up through center. And we'll come onto our hands and knees to find a tabletop position. Knees are about hip width distance apart, making sure the hands are tracking right underneath elbows and shoulders. And we can be on the tops of the feet or toes can be tucked under, whatever is most comfortable. Inhale, we'll drop the belly and lift the head for cow pose. Exhale, draw the belly in towards the spine, round the upper back as head drops, finding cat pose. Inhale, belly drops, head lifts. Exhale, draw the belly in, round the upper back, dropping the head. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Moving at your own pace now, sinking the movement with the breath. Once again, going inwards, close the eyes. Last cycle here, one more cat and cow. And then coming back to a neutral tabletop position, we'll begin to walk the hands forward as we keep the hips nice and high over top of the knees, coming into puppy pose. Long line here through the spine, forehead drops in between upper arms to rest on the mat. Hands are energized, so we feel nice and strong in the arms here. And then slowly release forearms down onto the mat. And at the elbows, bend up, so hands are coming into prayer over top of the head. Nice stretch of the triceps here. Connect with the breath. Exhale, slowly relaxing the arms back down. And then bringing big toes to touch as you sit the hips back on the heels, coming into child's pose. Keeping the forehead and forearms rested down onto the mat. Connecting with those deep belly breaths that we began our practice with. We've lost connection with them. Slowly begin to extend the arms straight out here in child's pose, pressing the palms into the mat, and then begin to pull yourself forward, coming into a knee plank. So the toes will separate here, shoulders over top of the wrists, maybe we walk the hands forward even more, and then exhale, keep the hands where they are, but press the hips back. Inhale, come forward, finding that modified knee plank. And exhale, sit back. So knees can stay wide here. We're just beginning to wake up the core of the body, finding some forward and back movement before coming into our first down dog. So exhaling to press back, inhale to draw yourself forward, keeping the core tight as we do this movement so there's no dip in the back. The next time you come forward, tuck the toes underneath, lift the knees and press the hips up and back, coming into our first downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal out the feet here, so bending one knee and then the other. Allow the head to drop in between upper arms. Maybe we adjust the length of our stance, moving the feet in a little bit or a little further out. And then gently beginning to walk the feet up to meet the hands, finding a forward fold, dropping the crown of the head towards the earth. 
From here, we're going to take the palm of each hand and slide it underneath the sole of the feet. Take a nice deep knee bend to begin here. Keep the balance in the back of the heels. You want the toes to tickle the creases of the wrist here. And maybe we play with straightening the legs to feel a deeper stretch in the back of the legs. Or maybe we play with tipping the weight forward into our feet, really stretching out the hands. And then slowly releasing the hands. We'll begin to walk ourselves up the body, rising one vertebrae at a time, with head as the very last thing to lift. And once you come to stand, rolling shoulders forwards and back. We'll bring hands together at heart center, palms touching, and taking two cleansing breaths. Inhale, sigh on the exhale. Inhale, sigh it out. Good. We'll make sure big toes are touching and heels separated a little bit. Ready for our modified sun salutes. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, arms go out wide, folding forward. Inhale, hands come onto the shins. Find a flat back, drawing the shoulder blades together on the back of the body. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reverse swan dive, rise, arms up overhead, gaze looks up, hands meet overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, rise, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands come to the shins, find a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, arms up, palms touch, gaze looks up. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms touch. And exhale, hands to heart center. Shake it out and we'll come towards the middle of our mat, working with some balancing postures here. We'll begin by rooting into the right foot. Hands will start at the hips. And we're gonna bend the left knee so that the heel comes towards the glutes. Taking the left hand to grab the outside of the left foot, draw the thighs together and the knee reaches towards the ground, stretching out the quadricep here. Maybe staying here or moving into dancer pose by shifting the hand to the inside of the foot and then reaching the right arm forward, maybe finding that mudra that we began our practice with, with pointer and thumb touching, and then kicking the foot into the hand as we lift the left leg up and begin to lean forward. Find a nice still point to stare at, find the gaze. Keep lifting, standing leg is straight, and exhale, slowly come back to center. Release the right hand, and then release the left foot, and shake everything out. We'll move on to the same thing on the other side now, so rooting into the left foot, once again, hands begin at the hips, and reaching back with the right hand to grab the outside of the right foot, as the heel of the right foot comes in towards the glute. Draw the knee down towards the earth. Maybe we stay here, or maybe we flip the hand inside of the right foot. Left hand finds the mudra with pointer finger and thumb, and we begin to lean forward as we kick that right foot into the hand. Deep breaths and slowly coming back to center, releasing the right foot and left hand, shaking everything out. And we'll come back to, to the top of our mats, bringing big toes to touch and heels separated. 
We'll rise, arms up, palms touch overhead. This time we'll release the left arm down by the side. As we slide the left arm down the body, we'll reach towards the left with the right fingertips, finding a side body stretch. Inhale, bring the left arm up to meet the right. And then exhale, release right hand down the side of the body. As left fingertips come over to the right, finding a nice side body stretch here. Inhale, coming back up, bringing right arm to meet the left. And exhale, folding forward, releasing fingertips onto the mat. Inhale, hands come onto the shins, find a flat back. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands in the mat, step back to our downward facing dog. Nice long spine here, heads dropping between upper arms, fingers are spread nice and wide. Make sure your feet are about shoulder width or hip width distance apart. Imagine you're drawing the back of the thighs to the wall behind you. Keep pressing out through the back of the legs. Hips reaching high and back. And taking deep belly breaths here. Exhale, slowly release the knees down onto the mat. Bring the big toes to touch as we sit the hips back on the heels, releasing forehead and forearms onto the mat, coming into our child's pose. If we lost our connection with the breath, now is a great time to restore it. Really focus on feeling the belly press into the thighs with each inhale as the belly expands. And then allow the body to soften with each exhale. Taking a few more deep breaths here. Then inhale, slowly begin to pull yourself into a tabletop position as we swing the legs around and come down into a reclined posture, lying on our backs. Allow the legs to be nice and wide here, feet falling open. Arms resting down by the sides with the palms facing up for our final resting pose of Shavasana. Allow the eyes to be nice and soft here, making any adjustments that feel necessary to really help our body relax into this final pose. I invite you to stay here as long as you would like, focusing on the breath with the rise and fall of the belly. Really take the time here to find your inner peace. Namaste. Thanks so much for doing that flow with me, lovelies. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Your support means so much. And don't forget to click that big red button to subscribe so you don't miss another flow with me. I post new videos every Sunday, so be sure to come back and check me out. And if you'd like to flow with me on the daily, feel free to follow my Facebook page and Instagram. I post all my flows there each day. The links will be in the description box down below. I'd love to hear from you guys, so drop me a comment if you guys like this flow or any thoughts on future flows you would like to see and click around on the screen to do some of my previous videos if you haven't done so already. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Lots of love. Just what to say Things that scared me I should just walk away